as leaders, our job is to help people to unlock their full potential. Okay, so one of the tips I want to share with you today is to look out for where the people who are in your teams are blocking their own ability to learn. So it'll sound like things like, I'm not technical, so I can't do that. Um, I find that sort of thing too hard, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not interested in that, so I'm I'm not gonna get involved right? People block their own ability to learn all the time, all the time. It's our job as leaders to pay attention to what is effectively a self-limiting belief. Our job as leaders is to help people to learn more and become more and achieve more. So if you can listen out for where people are stopping themselves in their tracks and discounting themselves from a, from a particular process or from learning something new, because they've got a little story that's running in their head that says, I can't do it for whatever reason. Could be fear, could be fear of failing, fear of looking silly if they don't pick it up straight away. Listen out for those things. Catch it and challenge people on it. Is it true? Actually, do you want to get yourself into a scenario where you get to see whether that really is true? Because the thing is, when it comes to limiting beliefs, it's not the case that you simply cannot do something. Right. And so you can't just take you can't accept as gospel what someone tells you that they can or can't do. And in fact, if you can encourage them and give them that opportunity to get in there and learn and try things out for themselves, if they succeed, you've literally just changed their life because you've shifted how they see themselves. You've shifted what they thought was possible for themselves. And that has all kinds of positive ripple effects. So listen out for those pesky limiting beliefs.